Welcome to the Global Symposium for Regulators 2019 in Port Villa, Vanuatu, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Mr. Charlotte Salwai Tarimasmas, who is the Prime Minister of Vanuatu. Prime Minister, welcome to the studio. Thank you. Good night. I'd like to start off by talking a little bit about the theme of this year's Global Symposium for Regulators. It's inclusive connectivity, the future of regulation. What does that mean to you and, and why is it important? Well, I think uh, firstly it's very important, especially for regulators, because I believe that uh, regulators have an important role to make sure we have uh, affordability and accessibility as well as the quality and the coverage. And I uh, believe that uh, during this symposium, it can help our regulator how to address uh, and how regulate uh, operators of uh, telecommunication and ICT in, in Vanuatu. Uh, and it can be a good experience uh, this time because um, not only for Vanuatu but also the Pacific Island countries be because it's not a landmass. It's an ocean, a vast ocean is, uh, in the world and it will be another experience and for the symposium and by, through the discussions we can find better solution how regulators and regulators of Vanuatu can regulate the telecommunication as is always are playing a vital uh, role uh, today in the world for connectivity. And why is this inclusive? Because uh, I believe that uh, uh, now that it's becoming an important tool, an important infrastructure for connectivity, especially for islands like Vanuatu, because Vanuatu is not one island, it's uh, an archipelago, it's separated by seas, and uh, it can help to reduce the cost of, uh, but also for doing business. It can reduce the cost of business and it can bring uh, also uh, closer families and friends. Uh, well, uh, I see a lot of benefits. So this is why it's becoming an important tool for development in, uh, in, in the regions like in the Pacific, but also in Vanuatu because it's made of islands and it can become an important tool of uh, telecommunication. Where we have a national uh, digital uh, roadmap, uh, what we decided very recently, and uh, we see really big importance. And uh, but at the same time, we have uh, also some issues, and I believe that uh, can be regulated. Uh, for example, roaming, um, because we 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 uh, we try through telecommunication to bring closer communities. And the Pacific is a it's a community, the South Pacific community. We are also a forum divided by uh, subregions for Micronesian, Polynesians, and uh, also Melanesians. But uh, we're still separated by the sea. And how we can bring us together to come up with some better solutions? And but also to address uh, security because uh, Vanuatu is vulnerable to disaster shocks and is topping the list of uh, vulnerable and. But also to address uh, security because uh, Vanuatu is vulnerable to disaster shocks and is topping the list of uh, vulnerable countries. So uh, telecommunication can play an important role in terms of security, but also to, especially in, during warnings of cyclones or tsunami, and telecommunication is uh, becoming an, is playing an important role. And uh, I saw big improvement since when we introduced telecommunication and we. We undertake some improvement in Vanuatu, so during the cyclones we can get warnings from my phones. Uh, it is all, always the case, but uh, uh, most of the time, because we don't have coverage of uh, uh, media, uh, radio broadcasting, so we only way that people from uh, the south to the north and in rural areas, we, we are using my mobile phones, so we can get messages from mobile phones and warnings uh, as well. So. Uh, it's quite important uh, to have inclusive uh, connectivity. You talked about people coming together in this region. A lot of people have come together from all over the world here. I wanted to ask you, what does an event like the Global Symposium Regulators mean to Vanuatu? You're graciously hosting this event here and the region in general. Well, we are thankful. Uh, firstly, I'm very thankful to ITU uh, to choose Vanuatu to, for this conference or for this symposium. And maybe it can be a good experience, as I mentioned earlier, I mean, while uh, having this symposium in other parts of the world, uh, it is on the land. 
and uh, we don't have the same challenge as uh, might we have in the Pacific. And for me, it's an opportunity to expose uh, Vanuatu, to expose the Pacific Islands countries, the challenges that we are uh, facing, and what are our capabilities uh, and capacities. So, uh, for example, impact of climate change, as I mentioned earlier, Vanuatu of the Pacific is a vast ocean, so how to address it in terms of telecommunication? Vanuatu is more than 82 islands, and it is almost habitat, almost every island is habitat, so uh, we have an increasing demand also. Uh, transport uh, today is becoming very expensive, uh, by planes or by boats, that telecommunication maybe can reduce a lot of uh, expenses. Uh, especially government services. Uh, one example, when you want to apply for a passport and, uh, and the person is living in the north of uh, Vanuatu, close to Solomon Islands, he has to spend uh, uh, 500 uh, US dollar to come down just to pick up uh, an application form. And he will travel back to fill the form and go to the witnesses and go and wait for the immigration or the passport to uh, uh, deliver the passport. So you will spend again the same money to come down to pick up the passport. Or you might be waiting around here, renting rooms and uh, traveling by bus. And I believe technology or ICT can address uh, and reduce all these costs. So uh, even for government services, we're still spending a lot of money today to by vehicles, as you can see in the uh, in the roads, uh, most of the vehicles have 1,000 vehicles, and I don't see the uh, the reason why government is still spending a lot of money by buying a lot of vehicles. While we have posts and we have uh, also ICT, and we, we we can reduce and even avoid all kind of expenses by having better pro and um, protection of natural resources as well, uh, food security, how each uh, farmers can exchange information, so uh, it's a lot of uh, benefits and in terms of forests, in terms of ocean as well, how we can protect our ocean and so on. Uh, we are also uh, uh, one of the country that uh, we have more sea than land and we don't control and we are experiencing pirates coming and uh, fishing our water and so maybe ICT can be a solution for us to address uh, this uh, kind of situation that uh, we are facing and we, we have been on the grey list uh, uh, in, on IUU because uh, we might we are granting license to people who are fishing or business people who are fishing in our waters but uh, uh, we, we are suspect that we are over fish uh, over quota that uh, has been provided so it's the reason why EU Bless us in its uh, yellow list, so it can be a way to control uh, fish catch on private boats and maybe through I ICT or telecommunication we can find a better way how to control our resources. Finally, ITU and Vanuatu have a strong relationship uh, and have been cooperating on issues related to emergency telecommunications and, and cyber security, for example. Looking forward, how do you see the cooperation with ITU evolving? We believe and will continue to work very closely with ITU, how we can address uh, future issues. And one of the issues is uh, with uh, all uh, uh, OTT. And uh, I hope that uh, during this meeting and with ITU, we can find ways how... Because we are providing services, we are providing information, but uh, it seems to me that uh, we are operating uh, beyond the border and we don't respect any, any border. Uh, and it's a matter of sovereignty and uh, I think with ETU we can find solution how uh, this OTT can... Over the top services. Yeah. Yes, they can uh, assist countries like Vanuatu in building infrastructures because uh, in Vanuatu it's, uh, it's like a Pacific Island country, it's a small market and uh, we governments tend to uh, uh, believe only to that uh, only private sector can do it. Uh, 
unfortunately, we don't have the same objective. Private sector objective is to make business, to make profit, while government want to get access affordable and accessible to everyone. And uh, but because we have a small market, if we would have a big market like in some countries in Asia or in Europe or Africa. Yes, you, you can reduce the price because uh, you have more more clients and uh, users. But it is not it is not the case of countries like Vanuatu. So this is the reason why we want we really want to bring access when at an affordable price to our uh, citizens. Uh, even today, in telecommunication, even though we did some progress in telecommunication and I ICT in Vanuatu, but we are still the most expensive uh, uh, telecommunication in, in, in the Pacific. So, uh, some contributing factors, it's uh, uh, infrastructure building. And I think it's one of the areas that uh, government has to invest. Because when we talk about infrastructure, before we, we traditionally think about uh, uh, infrastructure is only wharf, roads, bridges, but uh, telecommunication doesn't need uh, infrastructure like utilities. And we, I think that we need to change our mindset and I believe that we can work together with uh, uh, ITU. And uh, the other thing is uh, OTT. It's an issue. Well, on one side, we are providing services, but uh, it's a direct competition to operate as we are paying license to operate in Vanuatu, we pay rights to operate and to do business in Vanuatu while we don't pay anything. And we are not contributing to build uh, towers or submarine cable, we are not uh, helping us to address uh, telecommunication. And then we are side as well, because uh, it's almost um, uh, an open uh, network to debate. Anyone can say anything they want, but Vanuatu has uh, some important principle in terms of culture and in terms of tradition and in terms of Christian principle. So it's one of the uh, principle of uh, constitutional principle in the Republic of Vanuatu. For example, shame or respect, it's a culture in Vanuatu, but today it's not anymore because we breach every boundary. So, And uh, we think that uh, with fight you, we can help us how to address it, maybe through our telecommunication uh, regulation or laws or cyber crime uh, regulation that we are working on, or maybe through uh, regulation of uh, the regulator in in, in Bernardo. So we we trust that uh, maybe with experience learned from other countries that I too uh, can assist Bernardo in addressing Prime all these uh, challenges. Prime Minister, well, thank you very much indeed for joining us in the studio. And we wish you the very best of luck in the future. And uh, thank you, Thomas. Thank you, Thomas.